This is Tom, W5KUB, from Amateur Radio Roundtable. And today I want to talk to you about the uh, new FT991A from Yezu. I won this radio at the Huntsville Ham Fest back in uh, August. And actually waited a couple months for the uh, 991A to come out because it had the uh, modification to it to have the uh, real-time spectrum scope. The 991 uh, does not have the real-time spectrum scope. It's just a, a static picture. So I'm going to walk you through. I, I've become a little familiar with uh, a number of uh, functions on here. And I'm going to walk you through just some of the uh, functions and how this radio works. a pretty small and compact radio. Uh, give you an idea of the dimensions of the radio. I'll just put a uh, tape measure across there. You know, that's about nine, uh, nine inches by three and a half inches. And it's about, um, it's about 10 inches deep. Okay, uh, this is the uh, 991 in operation. Uh, down on the bottom uh, right hand, we have the audio gain. Right above it, we have the RF gain. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of uh, hard controls on here. Most of it's software, and I'll I'll demonstrate a few of the different functions in a minute. Right now, we're on uh, 18. A megahertz if we want to change bands we just hit the band switch and we select our band like 14 for 20 meters and we're on uh, 20 meters right now they have a fast and a, and a slow tune for instance right now uh, here's the fast and slow if you put it on fast you'll notice that the um, kilohertz move very fast just for, for quick tuning So I usually run it on, uh, on, on the not fast, which gives me uh, a lot more fine tuning uh, with the uh, VFO. All right, so let's see what else this thing can do. So I've already showed you to change bands. It's pretty simple. You just hit band. You hit uh, whatever band you want to go to, and you're there. Also, uh, you can do a manual entry. You hit band and hit entry down here and just key in a frequency if you want to listen to shortwave or or let's say we want to go to 70 uh, 7150 on 40 meters we just key in 7.150 enter and we're on 7150 on uh, 40 meters if you want to go up in the uh, you can of course tune up into the shortwave bands or you can key a frequency in for example we're on our show the Amateur Radio Roundtable is on uh, 9330 every Tuesday night. So to go to 9330, you just hit band, enter, uh, 9.330, enter. And there's uh, 9330. So pretty simple, I think, to uh, change frequencies. Let's just go back to uh, 40 meters. So we're back on 40 now. Okay, so let's see a couple other things. Um, this radio covers uh, 160 through 6 meters, plus it has um, 2 meters and 440. It's an all-mode rig. You can see uh, up at the top here, the little green speaker means we're in uh, receive. If I key the mic, you see the red antenna comes on. That means we're in transmit. We're on VFO A. We're on VFO A for both receive and transmit, and then here's uh, VFO B in case you were operating split. Okay, let's talk about uh, operating split. I haven't operated split on here, but uh, I think I can do it. So first, you got to set the receive frequency. We're going to hit the A B. at your A B VFO. So we hit it one time. We put in the frequency we want to operate. Let's put 7130 in. And then I believe we hit it again. 
and then we put the split fre uh, the the offset of the split frequency. We'll put 7135 in. All right, there's 7135, and we hit it again. All right, now if we hit the split button over here, you can see uh, both VFOs A uh, and B are are on. That's our receive uh, 7130, and the transmit's going to be 7135. So if we transmit, if we transmit, we'll be transmitting on on VFO B. If we receive, we'll be re receiving on uh, on uh, VFO A. So I'm going to turn the split off. All right, splits off. So what else we got here? We've got a button called clarifier. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to go back to uh, Spectrum Scope. Let's talk about the clarifier for a minute. I think the clarifier is is like your RIT or your RIT uh, function in most rigs. Let me see if I can find somebody here. So if I turn the if I turn the clarifier on, you can see here it says clarifier receive. And if I turn this uh, clarifier button here. You can see it varies. It fine tunes. And of course, if you transmit, you'll be transmitting on without the, without the RIT uh, frequency. So I'm going to turn the, the clarifier off. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Right now, you can see the spectrum scope uh, across the uh, 40 meters here. And at the bottom, you see a meter, power output. Uh, RF power uh, 100 watts is where we're set. Might gain 44. Now, to, to set any of these functions, you just touch the screen. For instance, if we want to change the RF power, and I'm going to use a stylus this time instead of my finger. Uh, we can use finger, or you can use stylus. So I, I, I hit the uh, RF power. I can turn a multi button here, and if you can see closely here, you'll see a change. There's there's 90 watts right there. You know, 80 85 watts. So uh, that's how you change the power level. If you want to change the mic level, you hit mic gain right here. Turn again the multi button and it adjust your mic gain. And let's see. Let's talk about this, the the. Uh, Let's talk about the spectrum scope right now. <clears throat> okay, so the spectrum scope right now is just, just spectrum scope. I don't have the waterfall on. If you want to turn the waterfall on, you hit the menu button, and that will take you to the menu. And you can see uh, here are various menus right here, 114, 115, 116. 117. And we're just going to tune that. I think 117, according to the manual, 117 is the display mode. And if you look at that, we're in spectrum. Now, if you select it, now, so let's look at the uh, spectrum scope here. If you want to change the spectrum scope and go to the waterfall, you would hit menu. And go to the menu to change the spectrum scope. You can look in your manual, and and menu 117 is the spectrum scope. So we're going to go to 117, right, right there, and we're going to select it. All right, we're selected now, and if you notice, it says spectrum right here. So we're going to turn the multi knob, and it changed to waterfall, and we just hit enter, and then I think we back out of this, and there we go. Now we've got the spectrum scope up here, and we've got the waterfall below it. Now I don't personally use the waterfall; I, I, uh, it might come in handy later. So I'm gonna turn the uh, waterfall back off with band. I'm sorry, with with menu. 117. I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna change it with the multi button here to spectrum. I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna get out of that. And you can see we've got just the spectrum scope back in here again. So that's pretty neat. Um, now the 991 does not have a real-time spectrum scope like this one. It's a fixed uh, picture. For instance, it's like this. This has that same function. By hitting sweep, I turn off the spectrum scope, 
and it's a single uh, snapshot right now and you can see when I tune I'm actually tuning across that that uh, snapshot so that's kind of cool but the nice thing about the uh, 991A is they've incorporated the real-time spectrum scope and to get the real-time scope on you just hold the sweep button in for two seconds and you can see it came back to real time. Again, the 991A has a static scope like that. Each time you want to, each time you want to refresh the uh, scope on the 991, you have to hit the sweep button like that, and you'll get a, a new picture every time you hit the sweep button. But that's the uh, beauty of the 991A. You hold it in, turn it on. We have a real time uh, spectrum scope. Now, this little uh, indicator up here, it says might gain, and there's a little line right here. Uh, that's showing that, that well, I think the last button pressed was a might gain button. If I turn a multi gain here, you're going to see this line increase or decrease. And you'll also see the might gain number go up and down. Let me go to power. So if I go to power, you're going to see the up here it says RF power. And again, it's at 98 watts. There's a hundred, and there, there we are reducing the power. So whatever, uh, whatever you have selected here, basically is going to show up 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 here. Now the S meter is uh, nice right there. We've got the power output below it right here. Uh, there are different modes uh, you can you can select uh, uh, upper sideband, lower sideband, CW, uh, ready. And uh, let's see. Oh, this uh, radio also has the uh, the 60 meter band, which are channelized frequencies. You cannot change the frequency. There's, they are set in memory. So let's go to one of those. I've never worked one of those before, but I've been listening, and there's some people on there. To get there, you just hit uh, VFO. Uh, uh, you hit V slash M for memory, and that puts you in. Uh, a memory location and then we have to go to MCH that's your memory channels okay now by turning the multi-channel knob here you can see channel 1 is 5332 5348 5358 5373 so that puts you on the 60 meter uh, ham band which is all channelized you can't reprogram this you can't change it to get out of that you hit uh, VM and that takes you back to of course the regular uh, regular ham bands so let's see let me tune someone in here Now, to turn your uh, uh, noise blanker and things on, it's uh, the top button, your memory list. You can forward through this. You'll see different things uh, that you can use to set up, like tone, DCS, uh, digital modes. There's your noise blanker. If you want to turn a noise blanker on, you just touch it. The noise blanker is on. Touch it, the noise blanker is off. So, now here's a, I guess, DNR, I think that's digital noise uh, rejection. We'll turn it on. We'll turn it on, and it has various steps. If you'll notice the number here, you can turn the multi channel knob, and it has various different filters that you can select turn it off you just touch it same thing with notch filter you got your you got a lot of different functions here Vox you can turn Vox on through here Mic equalization, you can you can click this and you can set equalization for different microphones. There's your processor. You turn the processor on, crank a little processing up, a little 
gain here in the processing if you want to and let's see what else we got in here Scope's pretty nice by for looking for some strong signals and tuning them in. This looks like one coming up here. So it's pretty straightforward. Right now, I have a, a uh, my audio that's coming out of the earphone jack. I've got it piped into a little uh, uh, mixer and some uh, computer speakers. Uh, that actually give me a little bit better sound. You plug your key in up here. Um, the T TXW button is a pretty neat little button. If you're operating split, if you have split set up in here, you can press and hold down the, the TXW button and it will let you monitor the frequency above where you're going to transmit. So it puts the receiver up on the transmit frequency and let, lets you hear. CS is a programmable button, I believe, where you can uh, put in any uh, uh, function that you might use regularly. You can put it into uh, that button. The tune button works like tune on any other radio. Uh, you just hold, a, hold the tune button in, and you can see the tuners flashing here, and uh, it's tuning, and it is tuned. So. The tuner is engaged right now. The, the tuner shows up here. If you want to turn a tuner off, you just press press a button and uh, turn the tuner off. So I think that's uh, quite a bit for uh, this video. We're going to probably uh, let it go uh, right now. And uh, want you guys uh, to uh, feel free to join us uh, on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock p.m. on W5KUB.com uh, for Amateur Radio Roundtable. It's a great uh, ham radio show. We have guests from around the world every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock on W5KUB.com. And we're also simulcasting that show every Tuesday night on very famous international shortwave station WBCQ on 9330 kilohertz. As I learn more about the rig, uh, I'll uh, make another video for you guys.